Hello guys, it's a good day because it's raining outside and the temperature decreased from 35 degrees to 22 degrees. It's really cool. And how are you? First, at the beginning of this video, we can see a comparison of charging a mobile phone. We charge the same mobile phone and we use the same charger and the same USB cable. And we use this AT35 to test the charging voltage and the current. But we can see the current differ so much in this two video. One is almost uh, at 1 ampere and uh, 1.6 ampere. So we need to find out the reason. Today we will talk about the USB interface and the USB 2.0 and the USB 3.0 interface are the main character. We need to know the basic knowledge of them. In appearance, we can see under normal circumstances the USB 2.0 interface is mainly white or black and the USB 3.0 interface is mainly blue we can see the interface here secondly the icon are different we can see the icon of USB 2.0 is here and uh, this is for USB 3.0 here Structurally, the USB 2.0 interface is a 4-pin design. You can see there are 4 pins inside, while this USB 3.0 interface are 9-pin design. Oh, it's not clear, but you can know this is a 9-pin design. And finally, the transmission rate in series, the USB 3.0 interface, the transmission rate is 10 times higher than USB 2.0. That's all what you know. And today's case is a accidental situation we have been looking for for a long time. There are many USB testers in our products. And we can see this is a UM25 and the interface is USB 2.0 and this is a AT35, the latest USB tester. It's simple and uh, contact, but the interface is USB 3.0 and uh, this is a UM34. USB tester and the interface is also a USB 3.0 interface. We have so thousands of USB testers so far and we have received more than 99% 5 star recommend. But some customers have reported that one problem is that they use our USB tester AT35 to tester to connect the charger and the phone and find that the mobile phone cannot charge or the charging current is very small then they used our um25 back to find that the charging current is normal so they think the quality of their AT35 is bad and uh, returns the products. We received the returned products and uh, have a test on them. We find that the function is completely normal without any problem. I believe that our customers will not lie to me, but I have always remembered this matter. Until recently, I finally meet this problem again. I have 
always had a habit of plugging a USB tester into the charger when I was charging my phone to see the charging current. Usually I use UM25 to test. However, I recently bought a Ugreen charger and you know I have made a, I have made a video about it. The 18 watt quick charge on USB-C port is very easy to use and the there is one thing I forgot, it has two interfaces. The USB-C interface is very good to use, but it has also have a USB-A output. I used the UM25C in the video to test the USB-A interface and the mail port is usb 2.0 and uh, until yesterday I used AT35 to test the charging current and find the charging current is very small. I realized that I have met the same situation. I need to find out the reason so I prepared another Huawei charger as a comparison and this is a U green charger and I used the three USB testers to test UI USB 2.0 interface and the two USB 3.0 interface. Let's have have a test. We use them to charge the thing phone and I will record the data here first UM25 and you going first hard to insert. The charging cu current and voltage is 5 volt 1.7 ampere. But next, I want to have a test on it. And you can see something different. Still, we use AT35 and uh, the same phone, you green charger again. You can find the charging current is 5 volt 1 p. You can see 2 minutes ago the charging current is 1.5 amp and now it is 1 amp And uh, use AT34 again. The charging current is five volt one ampere.
the last we use um25 again you can see the charging current is still 1.6 ampere Okay, I have test all this data and uh, the data will show you on the screen. And let's have an uh, analyze on this data. You can see the difference between this one and uh, these two are this uh, interface is USB 2.0 and this USB 3.0 interface. And then we can see at first the charging voltage and the current are the same. But we look in this way, we use a thin USB tester, thin charger. The USB 2.0 interface USB tester, the data didn't change, but the USB 3.0 USB tester, the training current decreased a lot. It, the UM34, it changes from 1.7 ampere to 1 ampere. It is certified from 1.5 ampere to 1 ampere, but it happens only on the U ring charger, and the Huawei charger has no problem. The data is the same, so we can say there must be something wrong with this U ring charger with the USB 3.0 interface USB tester. After smash, I tear down the charger and the USB A interface here. Then I tear down another USB 3.0 mail port here. And let's have a look. If I insert here, you can see the contents of the USB 2.0 female port almost to here. That's why the current is small because it doesn't match the right area. And if I plug out a little, you'll find the contents matches the right place. So the current returns to 1.6 ampere. And uh, I insert all the USB interface. The current decreased to 1 ampere. So that we can know the problem comes from the USB 2.0 female interface. Therefore, when we find such an accident, we can use the extrusion method to, to know the problem and solve the problem. We can replace a new female port. This type of USB interface is not common. I have a dozen charger and this is the only one we find the problem. But there are also such situations. After all, there are tens of thousands of chargers all over the world and there must be something like this. 
So don't make a decision easily when the problem occurs. Please analyze it and solve the problem scientifically. Okay, that's all. Thank you. See you in the next video.